workshop. So this workshop is all about slideshows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a slideshow onto my homepage that I've got here on our site. So surf-dudes.com. So I'm going to log in now and I'm going to add a slideshow into here. We're going to go through uh, what you need to do to create a nice slideshow and add slides to it and obviously take away slides to it. Uh, once you get into it, it's actually quite easy, but it can be a little bit hard to figure out. It's probably why questions have come up on this particular subject. So I'm jumping into my pages now. I'm just going to find the um, home page to this. I've um, got the members page there. So I'm going to just scroll down to our page. So here we go. Okay, so this is, I'm using the login page here. It doesn't matter which page you're using. So I'm going to go to edit the page now into the uh, page builder editor where we can add our slideshow blocks. Now with our slideshow blocks, we have a few different templates to pick from. Okay guys, so uh, let's go to blocks up here and uh, straight from the blocks, we're going to go down and we're going to fly in slideshows. Now under slideshows here, we have a few different types to pick. So you can pick it here on the left hand side if you want to, or you can also go in here and click add block here, which is going to open up a little pop up for you. And you can then see it. it's a little bit clearer um, going from here rather than having come up on the side. So it makes it a bit more visible for you to see which particular style you want to go for. So um, just to make things a little bit more complicated here, I'm not just going to go for one of the image ones. This is just an image flip, so there's no text on it. Uh, you can see this is the same as well. This one's got some uh, text here. You can see the bullets are kind of below and uh, here, and this is outside of the box. Then you'll also see you've got some little arrows and things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, uh, which is a nicely centered one. This one's kind of right justified. Now you can fully change these inside anyway. So I'm just going to click this one here. And what you're going to see is we're going to have a default set of three slides come up. So let me just scroll down once that's uh, loaded properly. There we go. And uh, this is it here. So you can see I've got some nice little arrows. Now you can click on it inside here and it will move to the next slide. Now this is of great importance because this is where you can edit the slides for each one. Uh, also, please note that inside this block here, we have options within here as well. So uh, what I'll do first of all is I'll go and change the image out with the default blocks and then we'll talk more about what's going on. So I'm gonna click inside here uh, for this slide and then I'm going to click this little gear icon which will open up a little panel to our right hand side. So you can see that we've got um, options in here to change certain things such as border colour. We can do alignment, you can see that vertical alignment is centred, that's why this text is centred in here. And you can see that we can change things like border bottom, these kind of things. Uh, this is for that main block area there. So I'm going to bring all these up. You don't have to do this, guys. Um, I'm just doing it for this. And if we look under settings here, uh, you can see you could also apply an animation to this if you wanted to as well. So what I want to do now is I want to click um, inside here and just show you that you can actually change the images across here. So you can jump to all these different slides um, as you're working. Uh, you can also go in and you can select and change the text. So I'm on slide one. So I'm going to come into here and I'm going to put slide two, okay, uh, slide one, sorry. And uh, down here under this, because this is a darker image here, I'm going to put this image in a white. So I'm going to hit the little gear icon for this and change my uh, text in here to a white. And of course you can change the text size and all of those things as well. You can also add spacing or add padding. Uh, into this as well. So you can see I can change that. But um, we have slides here. Now what I like to do is I like to style one slide and then I make copies of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to delete these ones out of here so that we're basically left with one slide and then I'll tell you how to duplicate them. To duplicate the slides is really easy guys. You just need to select this main bit and then you can hit the duplicate there. And if you duplicate this, uh, what you're going to get is another button appear here. So I've basically duplicated this slide. So I'm clicking this red image box here and you can see I've got the options to delete them out or I can add them. So watch this little box as I click this clone 
and you're going to see it's going to add another slide. See? Down here. Now, equally, I can come into here and delete them as well. So, and you're going to see this drops down to one. So what I like to do is style my first slide and then I like to clone them. So you can jump to the slides. I'm going to jump to this slide here. And this is this one. And I'm going to go on that little red bit. I'm going to click it. And you're going to see that it will delete that slide out. Click delete just to confirm in here. And we've deleted that one out. So now we're on this slide here. I don't want this one either. So again, I'm going to click that little box. And it's that red box, not the green outer one. That contains the slide. That contains the slide show, I should say. So I'm going to click this one. So I'm basically going to remove all these slides until I get one slide left. Okay, guys, I've got one slide left now. So now we can do a bit more styling and then I can just clone it because I've got my slide style. So I'm going to come into the settings here and I'm just going to change some things like the font size in here. I'm going to make this nice and big, put it to something like 50 or maybe even 80 inside here. And uh, if you want to, guys, again, you can come into the text alignment and you can change that to left or right if you wanted to and all the other groovy things that you can do in here. But we want to look at changing the image. So if I click down here, I've got to make sure that I'm red selected. Remember, the actual encasing slideshow is in the green outer. OK, so if I was to delete this, it would delete the slideshow out. So I want to click when I'm in one of the slides. I want to click here and make sure the red box goes around here. So this is where this is containing our image. So if I go to the settings there, you're going to see that we can go under the uh, settings in here and you're going to see an image URL. Now, this is that for that image. OK, so you can also put a link in here as well if you wanted to. So you could, if someone clicks that image, that whole slideshow will go to a page. You can do that. You can also open it in a new tab if you wanted to as well. And of course, you can animate it. So I'm going to change this image over. I'm just going to grab an image that I've already got, um, such as our little meditation guy here. And so I'm happy with this slide. Now, if I go to the slideshow, the uh, style settings here, you can change things such as the border as well. So to set the border, you need to first of all say a border type, which is solid. Then I need to say a border width. So I'll put five in here. And then I'll go in here and choose maybe a blue. Now you can see there's a border around the outside. So you can set a border width if you want to. Now, if you want to turn that off, you can just, you don't have to put these all on zero and stuff. What you can do is you can come in here and click none. Okay. You can also say image style responsive. So you could actually change this type. You could change it to more of a kind of circular or ellipse. Um, rounded if you wanted to. So you could put rounded and that will work with the... Um, border corners as well if you wanted to put that in there so if I change that to like 50 or something you're going to see it's going to go nicely rounded in there um, so you have these different styles so I'm just going to click responsive and that will put it into responsive mode I'm also going to take that corner off so it's nice and straight all right so once you're happy with your image in there um, we can then move on and we can start producing more of the slides so you also see on here if you go to slider this is in this red big slide that contains everything okay this big element here and remember we've got elements inside there as well you can add more by clicking the element and clicking this plus to add a button in there or something it's really up to you uh, give you the flexibility of doing whatever you like um, do remember guys if you're doing slides and things it's quite good if you've got some sort of image editing software so you can put things like tints over the top and those kind of things you know just to knock it back so the text is showing clearly uh, this is really important and we can also see under those slide settings down there that under the slider settings um, we can see that we have things like uh, arrows indicators so let me just change these so I do outside and you can see that's jumped outside now um, you can also say for the arrows as well, you can put those outside. So those little arrows are now jumping outside. Um, I'm going to leave them inside. You can also hide them as well. So I'm going to put inside and I'm going to actually make these hidden. So I'm going to put hidden here. So that hides that from there. You can also go pause on the hover and you can also cycle through them. So when it's on, it will just continuously cycle through. You can also get it to auto play as well. So when on autoplay, 
auto plays the slides on load. When off, auto plays the slides after the user manually cycles the first slide. So hence they hit this. So I'm gonna turn that to auto on as well. So sometimes people want it auto on and they don't want arrows. So you can come into here and you can make that hidden as well if you wanted to. So that's covered that area. So now let's duplicate this slide up. We're gonna do exactly the same as we did before. Now what I like to do guys, and this is really important, is I like to put the bullets on as indicators for my slides. And then if I wanna turn them off, I turn them off at the end. So I'm gonna put that to outside, just so it's there for a, an initial indicator. And now I'm gonna select this uh, block and I'm just gonna click up here. And that's gonna create a new slide. Just notice down there. So I can go to that new slide now notice it's on that slide and we can change it so you can see I can jump across to that first one go to this second one here and then I can just change this to another text I'm going to put slide 2 in here and then I'm going to check um, here and I'm going to go to our settings I'm going to change the image so I'm going to go into settings here and I'm going to change this image so I'm going to drop a new image in okay so you can see there's a new image in there now so I'm now gonna duplicate this slide again. I'm gonna to move to that slide, which is slide three, and I'm going to press the three here, okay? So, and I'm gonna come into this, and I'm gonna change the image again. So here we go. So once again, just go through these, and uh, definitely worth checking this stuff out as well. So as you're doing it, it's worth previewing it. So you've got slide one, slide two, slide three. So if you like, guys, you can save this, you can preview the page and you can test that it's all working. So I'm going to go to preview and there goes my slide. It's going to automatically play. There we go, slide two and slide three. Bang. So we can also manually cycle through these, as you can see, and you can click the bullets to jump to them here. So this is all working absolutely fine. So, um, that is the kind of basics of how the slide works. So once I've got all my slides set up and I don't want these indicators here, I'll just come down to one of the slides, go to the gear icon, and then I can go into the slider settings and I can go the indicator and I can go hidden and it will turn it off, all right? So auto play on, all this works. Um, also, this is the intervals between slides. So you've got milliseconds. So we've got five milliseconds between each slide. Okay, so if I wanted to make this a shorter time frame, I could put this down to something like two. And then I could click save, and then that's gonna slide quicker. So let's just do our preview again. I'm gonna just uh, refresh this page, and that's gonna give us our slides. One, two, and then it will move. And then one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and it will move. There you go. So that's how we can set this up. Now there are slightly other things we could do inside here as well. We could go into the actual main block that the slide is in and we could tell this we actually want it to be full width. And you can use lots of tools to push things to other areas as well, such as I can click in here and go to the spacing uh, right and left. I'll do right first and maybe put this on 50 and this will push it closer to the edge. I need to go a little bit more, so I'm just gonna push this to 60. Um, probably 70 actually is going to do it. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same the other side, and this is pushing it edge to edge, basically. You don't have to do this, this is just an added thing that I'm showing you. So I'm gonna click save to that now, and we're gonna come back into that, and we're gonna hit refresh, and now we've got an edge to edge slider right the way across your page, which automatically runs, and you've got these little, in, these little uh, arrows to move as well. Like I said, guys, if you don't want that arrow to run through there, um, also, uh, something to bear in mind here, if you do do edge to edge, when you click inside here, it can push it off screen, okay? So that can be a problem. So you might need to go into the block for that and just push everything back in again or go back on yourself. So be careful of pushing stuff too close to the edge because it's really hard to get to the icon which disappears there. But that's fine because you can just hit the undo here and undo a few times and it will push it back to what it was before as you can see there we go so undo's your friend here so you can go into here now and if I wanted to turn off the arrows for it I can just select the main block here the red encasing slide block as I like to call it and you can come into the slider and you can go actually I don't want the arrows on here at all and I want to save that 
like that. And now I can come into this. I haven't done it full width now, but if I do that, I haven't got those sliders at the side. And remember guys, also you can change that main block color. So if you want to make it look a bit more dynamic in here, you can come into the background color and you could change that, make it something that's more suitable for that. Well, that's how slides work. So the principle of what we're doing here applies to all of your slides, okay? Whatever slide type you're choosing from the templates, that same method applies. So um, to just to recap on what we've covered here, I'm just gonna take this off full width mode. Um, what we've covered here, we've got the containing um, block, the containing row in here, which you can change certain things to, spacing, all these things. Um, and then we've got, we've also got a background color for that as well. So if I was to change that background color, you're gonna see that's gonna go a different color in there. You can round the corners in there, those kind of things. And inside here, the slides themselves are controlled by this main block going around, okay? These are elements inside it. And as I said before, if you wanna add something like a button, you could click in there and you could add any of the element types straight into that slide. But as I mentioned to you before, I always find it's a good um, good thing here is to, when you're working with these slides, just to have the arrows on and turn them off afterwards. So put them inside there and then put them on the outside. And that way it gives you a visual indication of how many slides you've got. And it also makes it easier for you to uh, navigate to the slide you want to use like here and here. So guys, um, pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. Um, sometimes you might need to just save it and go back in and check these things as you're running through. But you can go across to these and you can change these out. So that is how slides work. So just go in with that base template. So just go in as you would normally, just go slideshow. Choose the slide style that you like the look of. Um, we'll just use an image here. Lots of people just use images and that's easy to work with here. So we just got this image dropping in here. And uh, as I said before, you can jump to these slides and then you can, if you want to, you can delete them out or you can just change them. And then if you wanna do a duplicate slide, you can just hit that duplicate button. Uh, something to bear in mind here is if I click the button and then I go into the settings for this and I'm going to choose an image that's um, slightly higher like this like that it's going to give you a much higher image so if I then go to the next one um, and we got that image in there and then I go and select another one which is like the let's choose the meditation guy here you're going to see you've got different heights so it's going there and then it's going right down here and then it's jumping up so what i'm saying to you is that it's really important here that you uh, make sure that the ratio of your image or the height of your images are the same so try and keep your images exactly the same size as each other when you put them in there otherwise you're going to get this kind of jumping down where it's pushing right down the page because it's higher you can see down there all right so just bear that in mind when you're working like if you're making sure something fits in there then all of your image slides should be the same size so you can use any kind of image editing to make sure they're the same size uh, you can go and use pixel r to do that um, that's pixlr to resize images that you've got um, pixlr and you can just uh, sign up for an account there, bring the image in, set the height and do it that way. So guys, uh, really easy to work with, just need a little bit of tech as far as making sure your images are the right size. Maybe putting a tint behind it would be good as well. But it's really easy to work with these. It just takes a little, it's a little bit fiddly when you first start. And sometimes there are some little glitch happens uh, when you're trying to do things like jump from one slide to the other when you do a clone. So be aware of that. Um, I like to just uh, work with it like this and then add my slides as I go through them. Okay guys, hopefully that's helped you.